Steve Gamash here. Welcome to another Chef Knives to Go Quick Look product review. And we're looking at another one of the knives in one of the more popular lines in the Chef Knives to Go site. This is the Tanaka, uh, what's known as a Sakizo Blue Number no. 2, Aogami Number no. 2, uh, Damascus Nikiti 165mm. And as mentioned, this line of knives has a core steel of Aogami or Blue Paper Number no. 2 Reactive Carbon Steel from Hitachi. The heat treats approximately 60-61-ish Rockwell on that coarse steel. The construction is a soft iron cladding over the top of that blue number two with a uh, Damascus edge pattern in it. And so it is an all reactive blade. There's no carbon, or excuse me, there's no stainless steel on this blade. So it's an all reactive blade, coarse steel and cladding. The weight on the knife is quite light, 112 grams, four ounces, right on the money. Blade length, uh, about 165 millimeter, and the overall length, 12.2 inches. These measurements will vary just a little bit from knife to knife since they're handmade. The spine thickness, uh, these are pretty thin knives. The spine thickness above the back of the blade here at the chin is about 2.4 millimeters. Tapers down a little bit off of that and then pretty much holds around 2-ish or so millimeters um, until you hit the front of the blade here. The height on this particular one is about 49.8 millimeters back at the heel or the chin, and then about halfway down it's about 48.1. So I usually like to give two measurements there. The handles, uh, no frills, decent uh, uh, buffalo horn ferrule with a uh, hoewood basic handle. It's D-shaped, uh, nothing fancy here. Um, this one's finished pretty well, but you'll sometimes get a little step here between the wood and the ferrule. You'll probably want to put some kind of treatment on this, like mineral oil or tongue oil or something, as this wood is pretty uh, absorbent. It's a very light handle. The circumference is about 71 millimeters on this, about 2.8 inches right here where the wood meets the ferrule material. And let's take a close up. Look, these are really nice looking knives in person. Kind of an understated uh, layered cladding Damascus effect. Kind of a frost finish on it. And they've got really well done, uh, deeply chiseled kanji on these blades. It gives it a kind of an upscale effect. Uh, it's, it's a nice feature of these blades. And on the back side, you've got no markings on this particular one. Sometimes on these, you'll get an embossed marking on the back side. But you can really see the core steel showing through there. Out of the box edge on this, uh, I'll give it a 4, maybe a 5, because it wasn't super consistent. Parts of the blade were pretty sharp and parts weren't. But I put this on a couple of sharpening stones. And the great thing about this steel is it sharpens up so darn easy and just gets really sharp. So these just things will get stupid sharp if you do your part on the stones. They just would they just like to get sharp. It's just great steel. So performance on these knives are excellent. They're thin. Um, they're thin at the edge. The grinds are just really nice. Um, when you feel the grind with your hands, you can just feel the taper from the, the spine down to the edge. And uh, they get thin at the edge. They're not stupid thin at the edge, but uh, they're thin enough to give you very, very good performance while retaining a little robustness uh, to the edge. There's your profile on this blade. Let's put it on a cutting board. But these are a, just a good solid performance knife series that's been popular for a long time on Chef Knives to Go for a very good reason. So here's the profile on a cutting board. Not a huge flat spot, but you get a decent flat spot towards the back half of the blade and then kind of a slight curve or belly towards the front. You can, of course have the rounded tip on this which makes it really easy to rock with this knife. So this knife rocks quite well. And I said it's light, it's nimble. The steel will get really sharp for you. These are a good value blade. If the fit and finish is good, you've got enough relief on the spine and the back of the blade, the choil into the neck or emoto to make them comfortable out of the box. You could probably do a little more to this if you wanted to do that, but I think it's quite usable out of the box. The only thing I would do is sharpen it. And let's see, balance point. The handles are very light on these, so the balance point on this one is a little blade flower balance point. For me, that would be just in front of my pinch grip. But gives you just a little bit of weight to the blade for some help through the cutting process. So there you have just a, a nice series from Tanaka. This is the uh, Aogami, our blue paper number two, Sakizo Damascus Nakiti, a 165 millimeter knife.